female. We're joined now by Karen, a male to female transsexual, and Fox as well, a female to male transsexual, who also beats in the series. Didn't see you in the clip there. Nice to see both of you this morning. So, look, we saw you having fun there, Karen, and enjoyed all. But there, there yes. was a serious side to this from the series as well. Yeah, there why, is. Why yeah. did you want to take part? What was the reason we're getting involved for you? I wanted to just show the uh, people out there that we are human, basically, what we have to go through to get to where we want to be. Mm. Well, one of the interesting things for me is that it, it, we know it as a transition, a change, but it, it doesn't necessarily feel like that for you guys because this is how you've been all your life. I feel normal. I just feel me now. I've, I've hid away for so long in my life. For me, this is just me now. This, this is, I mean, I just feel complete, yeah. just complete. It does feel very much like a transition uh, for myself and okay. for everyone around me as well. So I think that not just me is going through a transition. I think that it's it's fa friends and family as well who when, are experiencing that. Yeah. When did you first, though, you were born a woman, but it, when did you first feel more like a man? Um, yes, I was born female. Um, I felt like um, a boy when I was little. And um, because there wasn't any information about this then, I, I didn't know about it. Um, I just, I assumed that I was a, a lesbian because I was attracted to, to women. Um, but obviously gender and sexuality are separate things and it, it's, uh, it takes a while to, um, to work it out. It took me ages to How work it out. How would you know? Because it must be hard to, to find people that can advise it's and help you. I, I never fancied men. I've never fancied men. But I knew from quite an early age, probably eight, nine, that I felt different and I was so shy as a boy, because I was, I didn't feel right. Yeah, everyone's got a, a different story, obviously, in, in the series. But yeah. I just want to get your take on what, what, what Karen's been going through, you know, because you're relatively young compared, you know, to Karen, and it's sort of 26, 26. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, <laughs> tell I mean, a little bit. No, I can't tell. Can you, can, you, can you imagine what, what Karen's been through? Oh, it's, um, that's one of the best things about doing this, uh, taking part in this documentary. It was phenomenal to meet other people who have these these experiences and, and Karen's story in particular and we all got to yeah all of us, we all we did met. we did um, but the fact that you um, you started your transition in the 80s and you didn't feel like you had the support to carry yeah. on that yeah. that for me that breaks my heart you know that yeah. that's so I, I did it I, I was I knew from quite an early age but I just tried to, to keep regular type jobs and I was a landscape gardener I only went to the police force um, I got married, um, got a daughter, um, but at the end of 85, I just couldn't go on and got divorced um, and started as Karen. Back then, there, there was no internet, obviously, and there was just no help. You, you had to go through the National Health Service for any help, and it just wasn't. But you're feeling happier now, are you both? Things are looking oh, good yeah. for you and positive yeah. moving forward. Oh, yeah. And of course, it's an irreversible operation. Are you confident that this is the right decision for you? For me, yes, yeah. definitely. Um, I think before I, I felt that because there's no backup there, that, that I just couldn't go through with it. it just There was no help. But now you've got that support. Yeah. Well, look, thank you so much for coming in and, and telling us your stories. I'm sure yeah. people are going to be fascinated to know more. There may be people watching that, that can relate to some of the emotions you're having. And we should say that My Transsexual Summer, which is the name of it, is on Channel 4 next Tuesday at 10pm. You can see more of that. Thanks very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much.